Check this out. Fight over Fernfeld going to be our first map, maybe our last map of the day. We'll see. First up for the Stormy Predators, we have the Asir, a Mobula being piloted by Scrimscraw. Mortar up top with double Gatling on the lower decks and double Artemis on the wings. They're also bringing the Varten auf Ra uh, Oh god, German viewers, please don't make fun of me. Yeah, how does it feel, Fourth Oracle, not to be able to pronounce one of these ship names? Hey, huh? Dostoevsky is totally understandable. This is a different language. <laughs> Port side. Go ahead. Dostoevsky's a name. Port side. Hades with Flak Lumberjack. Then on the starboard side, we have Carinade and Huacha with a flare on the back. A very standard looking galleon. And for the Ducks, the sword on the blue team, we have the Bill Me Later, piloted by Nick Barrett. It has left side double Artemis Hades, right side Gatling Mortar. Their ally, the Rubber Duck, piloted by Black and Pies. They have two Artemis on the left side with Hades and Gap Mortar on the right. Yep. Interesting, I feel like we don't see Black and Pies running this build very often. If, if ever, really. Now, Vardenoff Rosh taking a little bit of damage here, burning kerosene to get back behind cover, but they're now Moonshine. They're going to be okay. Where's the here? What's going on? How did these red ships get so separated? I think that they were expecting the sword to go in a totally different direction. But obviously not. Now the Asir's going to have to catch up. Fort and Elf Rush. Rache. I'm not sure. They're going to have to back up either way. Bill me later rising up, looking for Ark. I don't think they're going to get it, though. Yeah, they're just going to go for spots. There's no way they can land shots. This is going to be a really tough matchup for the Galleon with four Artemis between those two uh, two blue junkers. It's going to be so difficult to keep those heavy weapons up. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree. This is your classic sword loadout. I think that the sword really want to take both well, of these is not games. Your, this is the classic Mandarin's loadout, not the cl classic sword loadout. Yeah. Sorry. It's classic duck um, loadout is what I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm actually sort of surprised that they're bringing this. Uh, maybe Sammy BT finally convincing them to bring good builds rather than unique builds. But uh, so far, they're doing a good job keeping the red team out. The Asir is going to be having, you know, in some of the other matches we had uh, against the Asir, we had the enemy team bringing some closer, some more, some closer range uh, compositions. But these Junkers just have such long range firepower. Especially for a wide open map like Fernfeld, I feel like a seer is going to have a lot of difficult, uh, difficulty closing the distance. Considering they've decided to stick with the the gap mortar kind of close range, even though they do have two Artemis, they don't have a center hole piercing weapon. Yeah, it's well. Yeah, build me later. Setting up. Getting ready for shots. It's closer. Rubber Duck has set up a little bit farther back, making the Bill Mew later a little bit more, a little bit more risky to say there. However, this Galleon comes out and this double Junker is ripping through him. Armor not looking great. Bill Mew later taking quite a bit of fire as well. The Asir throwing out Artemises, trying to disable guns. Buy time for the Galleon to get behind cover, what little cover it can. But the Bill Me Later is moving forward and looking for more shots. The Rubber Duck, again, zones out the Asir. The Asir can just not close distance. This is exactly what I was talking about before this match started. Now the Galleon's still eating fire. Double Hades back on him. The Asir is going to have to rise up and land more Artemis shots quickly. As it stands, though, the Galleon... It's taking quite a bit of damage, and the Hades are going to continue to drain in. Bill Mulator moving for a better shot in the Asir, but it recognizes that, you know what, I can just hit it from wherever. So the Bill Mulator moves forward and is going to try to continue to hit the Galleon. The Galleon having a tough time keeping up with this DPS. Armor's even burning. There we go. They put it out. But that's going to buy even more time. The Asir, they need to find a path into Blue's camp. They, I mean, they're going over the mountain. I don't know if this is necessarily the best way. They might be able to actually make it here. Scrimscrub burning the engines, but you already see blue team turning to refocus on the red mobula. Yeah, look at the so, way these junkers are moving. It's really hard to track them, but these Gatlings are going to be able to do the job, it looks like. They go for the engines first, but a oh, lot man. of the Gatling goes into the balloon, and they're not able to finish off the armor in the first volley. They drop down, trying to keep art, but the Bill Mulator is going to drop down behind the canyon and... 
the Galleon's not gonna be able to provide a whole lot of help against the Vilmi later. Armor, still up. Great balloon blocking. Look at the way that they're positioning themselves. The Mobula cannot get Ark on their hull anymore. And now they are a sitting duck, so to speak. Rubber duck, firing on him hard. The Asir's gotta get out of here. Bill me later. Seeing it has the advantage once again. Coming up, looking for the Gatling shots. They don't land, and a couple of cheeky mortar shots. As the Asir drops down, but there's still an arc of the rubber duck. Warden off Rosh, not really doing a whole lot to help here. Now they're getting shots off, but the Bill Me Later and Bill Me Later is targeting the Warden. Oh, the Asir gets hit by the rubber duck. Neither of these Stormy Predators ships can do anything. Yeah, this Galleon just, it's going to keep losing its weapons and not going to be able to... Oh, uh, here we go. Asir's got everything back in order, but they're taking a lot of damage. Armor being rebuilt. There it is. They're just barely back in this. Mortars come out early, and they cannot do any damage to the rubber duck. In the meantime, Bill Mulator coming around from behind with the gap mortar. Armor's going to drop any second, and there they go. This galleon is now left all alone, and its gunners just don't seem to be up to the task today. Yeah, the lumber... Hmm. These red ships in that last fight not actually working well together. No. Uh, I feel like what they, they really want to be targeting different ships because if the galleon you you were talking about the balloon block but a lot of that was because the warden off rush's uh lumberjack knocked out the balloon of the asir's target so they dr dropped down and by virtue of that the balloon was above them and blocked most of the gatling uh fire but what the galleon needs to do is take out one of the galleon one of the junkers and have the mobula go for the other one uh because like you said, the balloon's going to block those Gatlings if the target's balloon is down. Yeah, this is one of the situations where you don't want to completely destroy the balloon. You just want to damage it so they lose all of their vertical mobility. Engine's getting dropped on this Galleon, but they're able to get behind cover just in time. I am surprised that this Galleon did not take any permahole. Yeah, it is. I mean, it is a Galleon. Uh, and it's also, it can be difficult to land uh, solid Hades shots when you're charging at full speed, even in a Junker. But here it looks go. like they have been cornered here. Yeah, still though, one Junker is a lot farther ahead than the other. Watcher goes out, doesn't get any disables as the Junker flies out of arc. Galleon rising up, looking for shots. Are they gonna get him? Neither of those guns is disabled, but the Watcher was still reloading as the Bill Mulator drops. In the meantime, the Asir has been given time to come around. Only a little bit of permahole damage on that Galleon, but the Mortars are coming out. They bring their armor up just in time, but it may be too late. The Asir has shots, but one of the Gatlings gets knocked out by the Rubber Duck, who has swapped targets. Now they're hitting both. They're, they're splitting their Artemis fire. This is amazing from the Rubber Duck. But is it going to be enough? The Bill Mulator is dropping, trying to balloon block once again. Armor drops on the Asir. The Hades has such an easy shot on the hull of that Mobula as they drop to follow the Bill Mulator and they are forced to Hydro up and get out of the way. Rubber Duck going to keep focus while the Galleon follows the Bill Mulator down. Looks like they're going to be able to get out of this though unless the Lumberjack comes in. They're turning their port side out. The Flak and Lumberjack are going to be there, but they're getting disabled by the Artemis. And the Asir drops. Rubber Duck just had too much time alone with that Galleon at the perfect range. And now the, this Galleon has nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Double Artemis going to continually disable those engines if it tries to get out of here. And the Hades are so, so easy to land. Yeah, the Mobula just... like the, I feel like the Mobula has gotten some good engagements on the junkers but just has not been able to get those hole those hole breaks that it really needs to get a kill you know the balloon's been soaking up some of the damage but uh, another issue is that these the engineers on those gatling guns have been bringing uh gall galleons actually gonna i think go down here probably yeah Boom. the engineers on the mobula they're using heavy clip for the gatling gun which reduces its dps by a lot and combined with some of the Gatling going into the balloon and also the uh, naturally high armor value on the Junker, they're just having so much difficulty taking down the armor. And so even when they get good engagements, they're not able to get kills. So they're essentially doing nothing. And we see both these blue Junkers actually at, <laughs> at that full health. Yeah, have we seen an armor break on either of these Junkers so far? I, I don't, don't think we think have. So. Yeah, the armor is just too much. Heavy clip is practically necessary to hit a Junker's hull with those Gatlings. Um, 
as, unless you get in really, really close, but you can't guarantee that with the Brawlbula. Um, and in, on most ships, the Heavy Clip is a fine choice, but against these Junkers, They've been flying too well, they've been balloon blocking too well, they've been too mobile. These are true duck junkers, and this is what I was hoping to one day see from Sword. <laughs> see the Mander see them use the Mandarin strategy? Just yeah. come full circle I, I, on the ducks. I, I wanted to see it again, man. I, it's been long enough that it's exciting again. <laughs> I agree. Here I we go. Think it ever, Double Gatling. I don't think it ever stopped being exciting, man. It's always been interesting. Uh, the the brawling junkers have been so impressive, but in this case, uh, it's been even more impressive. Um, they've been using the Hades and the Artemis at just the perfect range. They've been using the maneuverability of the junker to keep those ranges perfect. And against a Mobula and a Galleon, it's absolutely feasible. Look at that Galleon dropping so fast. Yeah, and if Asir engages here, he's going to be on his own yet again. It, if Once Rubber Duck turns and starts focusing on the Mobula, they're going to be getting double teamed. This is different. The Asir, however, forced out again to dodge those mortars. Can they get the armor up quick enough? It's taken a little bit. They take chip, but they're going to be okay. But they're dropping too hard, and they bounce. They break their armor again. They're going to have to bring it up once again, but the Rubber Duck is landing shots. Armor comes up once again, but... Their main engine is... No, one of their turning engines is down. Where's the mortar? Warden Alf Rosh still not doing a whole lot to protect its ally. The Asir is practically alone, especially if the Bilmi later drops down behind this mountain. But here comes the double god and they screw up! They hit the mountain! Huge amount of damage to themselves and the Asir are able to pick that one up. Yeah, finally, the Warden's positioning is actually very smart here. They managed to zone out the Artemis shots from the Rubber Duck long enough to get those a solid Lumberjack uh, on the other Blue Junker. And the combination of that plus the Asir's firepower, you know, even though the Asir on its own was having a little difficulty breaking the whole armor uh, of the Bill Me Later, combined with the Lumberjack and the drop, that was a very fast kill. And now the Rubber Duck, well... I was going to say Rubber Duck left all on their own, but Red Team is moving into Blue's spawn, so that is not actually the case. Yeah, their landing shots, they're trying to hit the engines and stop the Rubber Duck from getting out of there. If they can just stop the mobility of this Junker, that'll be it. But the Bilmulator is coming in. Asir rises up to try to balloon block some of the damage, but the armor is down, balloons burning out. There it goes. The Asir brings the armor up just in time, but the Bilmulator is right there to bring it down again. Kerosene getting burnt so the Asir can close distance on the rubber duck, but the Bill Me Later is ripping right through them. The Warden Elf Rush not able to actually put enough damage out to help its ally that much. They're targeting the rubber duck. They really want this kill, but the flak isn't there. Lumberjack continually coming out. Flak comes out, but it's after the armor comes back up and the Asir drops. Bill Me Later now going to swap targets. To the Galleon, the Artemises are going to drop the guns on this Galleon so, so quick, I imagine. Yeah, there goes Lumberjack, there goes Flak, Hades gone as well. They're burning engines trying to get away, but can they actually get behind cover? The Bill Me Later might be able to follow them. Certainly, yeah, with those engines being taken out and the Warden already being fairly heavily damaged, this might be the fifth kill. <sighs> That might be it, and Sword may be able to take this to a game number two with this. Bill me later landing great Hades shots, and the armor's gonna burn out any second now unless they get a whack on it. Nope. Not quite. So it looks like we will be seeing one final game today. It's pretty exciting. One it's like, final it's game, yeah. It's like a yeah. bonus. It's, a, it's like a, a, a gift from the Goyo Gods. That was, that was impressive. I gotta say, I, I haven't seen Junker piloting like that in a long time. That being said, they were going up against a Galleon and a Mobula. Not as hard to kite those ships, so we'll have to see if the Sword decide to keep this double Junker, uh, if they want to make it their thing, if they want to adopt it from, uh, from their previous team. And I want to see if the Stormy Predators have an answer.